Subtracting Mixed Numbers, Part 2. In my first video on subtracting mixed numbers, I designed the problems to work out easily. But you're also going to get questions that don't go quite so simply. This won't be a problem for you though. You already have the skills you need for success. And they are to change a mixed number to an improper fraction, to change an improper fraction to a mixed number, and to simplify a fraction. Let's do one. Remember, first we need a common denominator. Our common denominator will be 6. To turn 3 into 6, we multiply by 2. So up top, we get 4. And now we've got a problem. In the numerators, we've got 4 here, and we have to subtract 5. We can't do it like we did before. This time, we can't separate the fractions from the wholes. Instead, we do this subtraction in one shot. If we change our mixed numbers with that common denominator into improper fractions, we will solve it easily. 2 and 4 sixths. So 2 groups of 6 is 12, plus the 4 from the numerator makes 16 over our denominator of 6. And here we've got one group of 6 plus our numerator of 5. That's 11 over 6. Now we can manage it easily. We have 16 minus 11. That's 5. Our answer is 5 sixths. Now you know. This is why we need that common denominator first. We need to know if our numerator on the left is big enough to subtract the one on the right. If not, as in this example, then we use the whole number and make improper fractions. Then we subtract. I'll do one more example and then it's your turn. The denominators are 10 and 5. The common denominator is going to be 10. To turn 5 into 10, I multiply by 2. So it's the same up top and that's 8 tenths. You can see we can't handle the fraction separately from the wholes because we can't start with 3 tenths and take 8 tenths away. So we change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. 5 times 10 is 50, plus 3 in the numerator, that's 53, over the denominator of 10. Minus 2 times 10 is 20, plus the 8 in the numerator, that's 28 over 10. We want the difference between 53 and 28. You can do your subtraction working at the side, or you can use mental math. From 28 to 30, the difference is 2. Then from 30 to 50, it's another 20. 3 more gets us to 53. The difference is 25. Our answer is 25 over 10. And that's an improper fraction. Can't leave it like that. We have to change it back to a mixed number. How many tens in 25? There's two tens in 20 and five left over. Keep the denominator of 10. The fraction part is 5 tenths. Look at that. We can simplify this fraction. There's one five here and in 10 there's two fives. That's one half. Our final answer is two and one half. Remember, for your final answer, you always have to show the fraction part in its simplest form, like I did here. And if you don't reduce your fraction at the end, you can't get full marks. Now it's time for you to practice for yourself. Next time, we'll look at part one of multiplying fractions.